hey over there to our lunchbox. And today we have landed right here in Chicago, Illinois. Now whenever we're on the road, we like to go to oddity shops. Check them out, add to our personal collection, and we'd love to bring you along. And that's what we're gonna do, because we're outside of Woolly Mammoth. It's supposedly one of the best oddity shops in this area of the country. And I'm excited to check it out for myself and check it out for you. And that's what we're about to do. So if you like this kind of stuff, you should like this video. Subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, comment down below. All that stuff's greatly appreciated. We love when you do it all. Are you ready to head in? Do this. Step right up, let's go for this ride. Woolly Mammoth. It already has a Woolly Mammoth. I love Woolly Mammoths. Yes, we are open. Anytime when I can see like old taxidermy mounts where the fur faded away over time. Didn't even get in the store. Already loving it. Woo! That boy looks angry. Prosthetic legs. Two-headed raccoon. Look how cute he is. And Peppy the talking possum. I don't know how he talks. Hanging right in the front. Medical skeleton. I love the ones where they painted to teach you about the different bones. And this turkey, he survived Thanksgiving. Now he has to deal with a cold winter because we have a cold turkey. I ain't no cold turkey. Like he has his little scarf on and his hat. A dapper line wearing his top hat behind it. We have a super beaver. You see the super beaver because they have a cape. You want a random bucket of bones? Well, they got a box of bones. We have Mary here. Mary was formerly part of a collection of a local legend, artist, and friend, Jojo Baby. Jojo believed Mary was haunted and would leave her offerings like food, cigarettes, etc. Feel free to leave something if you like. Mary, I got, I'll give you some, some change, Mary. There you go, Mary. We saw the two-headed raccoon, but here we also have two-headed cat. Please don't touch. This is named Brussels sprouts. But that's not the only freak taxidermy. We also have Meeple. It's a freaky baby cow commonly known as a bulldog dwarf. Another shot of Meeple. And if a name says it all, ear face is all ears. Actually, he's a lamb still born with no face or skull. Never developed a face or a skull. I knew I'd probably see taxidermy. I didn't know I'd see animatronics, a vintage animatronic doggy. Fiddler on the woof. You know what's better than one two-faced cow? Two two-faced cow. This one comes from Rosebud. This is the skull of Rosebud. And if you might say, but where is Rosebud? Rosebud is right here. You can see the two heads. It says, Rosebud is a real stillborn two-headed calf. Rosebud was actually born without any genitals as well. It's a baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And she brings it. Wow, actually a toe bone of an Albertosaurus. Dinosaur fossils too. Doc, I feel fine, but I think something ails you. The unicycles. And as we pan up, we have an animatronic raccoon pulling his Jack Daniels body. He's actually moving his glass back and forth. Some vintage taxidermy of people's loved pets. Imagine you have a dog you love, it passed away, you taxidermy it. But then later in life, you pass away, and your children or your grandchildren, they don't want that taxidermy dog that you loved so much. It ends up here. The cool thing about this is that makes it stand out as other. The little drawings on some of their freak taxidermy, it's almost like a vintage sideshow banner giving things names like drumstick, has four legs. What do we have here? It actually is a gun. No, it's actually a squirrel. No, it's actually a squirrel gun. 
you ever see anything like that? Now I've seen it all. And you can see some stuff like Squirrel Gun. He's so cool, he's not for sale. Neither is Taxidermy Mickey Mouse. Cool, we actually have an old sideshow gaff by famous artist Doug Hickley, and it's the Atomic Fish. My wife's gonna yeah, say I'm like crazy. But, different kinds of but I'm going to ask her to buy me. I just looked down into her classic WWE cards for five dollars yeah, each, and there's a Brooklyn Brawler. And I'm going to ask her to buy me this Brooklyn Brawler. When I was a little kid, I had these cards. And I was missing one and one got destroyed. I know I'm missing a Brooklyn Brawler. I don't know if it's this one or the other one. So it's a $5 gamble that I need this Brooklyn Brawler card. Because we're in Chicago from St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Unfired round collected from the crime scene. Cool collection of wax faces. You can see them showing like different like cleft palettes. The scariest thing here, chicken nugget. Haunted by a thousand torture jokes. It's scary because it still looks that good. I probably would eat it. You're feeling like a pirate. You never go wrong with actual 1850-ish peg leg. Joyce, I have one question for you. Come here, come here. What do you see when you look at this? I see two demon fairies. Mm. From my angle, I see two women whose hair is being pulled back tied together. <laughs> what does that say about me? I have no idea. What fascinates me is the vampire deer. His name is Waffles. He likes the red stuff on his waffles. Do you see it? A two-headed bearded dragon. This body is awesome. And if you bring your children here, I love it, warning. All the human skulls in here are the remains of wayward children and unruly adults, so behave. And I just standing here looking around. There was a lot of unruly adults. But with all those skeletons, remember, if you touch the skeleton, maggots will chew your eyes. Please don't touch. Oh, that's awesome. Ghost World. I remember when that movie came out. But here we have the Ouija board by the person that created it. His childhood Ouija board. Joy, do you think King Kong would fit in the car? Oh, that would be awesome. These, like, paper mache old masks. One of my favorite things. This store I really like because it has a good variety of oddities. It ain't just taxidermy. There's cool medical oddities, photos, gaffes. See, we have the cursed mummy hand that has an, an, an evil alien ring on its finger. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Yes, you are. Vintage wind-up toys. This shark has some interesting eyes, but I love his mouth so when he's like, looks like he's singing. La la la. And if you're doing a taxidermy project at home, you're looking for taxidermy eyes. And they run a sale if you buy two of them. A sea urchin spine necklace. I never would even think of something like that. And if you want something on the lighter side, they do have pins, patches, stickers. So there you have it. Woolly Mammoth Oddity Shop. That place was cool. I, I remember being a kid and when you go to a Ruby's Believe It or Not when I was like 12 years old and I'm like, where do I find cool stuff? Thinking like it was like so unattainable. And then there's stores like that yeah. where I could decorate my whole entire house with everything there. Rooms of taxidermy, rooms of sideshow gas, rooms of weird animatronics, two-headed animals. Like, I love it. I'm so happy we came. I'm so happy we got to bring you along with us. But I think we call it. I think so. Woolly Mammoth here in Chicago. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels and live life. And as we leave you, we'll leave you with one of my favorite things. When they make taxidermy and the taxidermy creates a full diorama, like look at that squirrel is riding a plastic horse. Dead pals of Sam Senfil Leapfo. 
Oh my god, these were once animatronics. This animatronics squirrel chipmunk rodeo is from the famous Sam San Filippo collection. It was formerly housed. Imagine you go to a funeral house and this was in the funeral parlor. 